Hello everyone, this is Andrea, the epoxy chick. Welcome back. Uh, I had some questions about uh, the drippings and the epoxy and all that. So I was gonna show you a couple things that you can do about the drippings off the edges. Bear with me. This is the table we did, um, well I did uh, last night on the live, which had some drippings underneath here. One way is to get a handy dandy scraper and you can scrape them off when they're still tacky. But look at that mess that it leaves. I don't know if you can see that. It's not smooth. It just, uh, it's just from me pulling off, pulling them off like that. That way is kind of time consuming and you know kind of hard on the knuckles sometimes and you don't get half of it off and it gets under your nails and it's sticky and that's why I don't bother. Another way is painter's tape up underneath underneath it so when it drips it drips on the tape and you just pull the tape off. Well that's worked for me a couple times, and it hasn't worked for me most of the time. It uh, gets stuck, and I end up having to grind it off anyway. So I usually just leave the tape. Here's my method. I use this, and it works for me most of the time, almost all of the time. I have to have my husband put on my little disc because I don't know how. And I grind, I turn it over, and I grind down the drips once it's hardened. Go outside, very well ventilated area, and wear a mask. It's going to get messy. And here we go. some water just some in a little spray bottle and spray it and then wipe it clean and get all those little things off I want to thank everyone for watching today if you have any questions just let me know like and follow and let me know bye